This video is on Poisson distribution. In today's video, we are going to teach a problem that is, we have to fit a Poisson distribution for the following data. So here, these are the x values that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And these are the absorbed frequencies that is 142, 156, 69, 27, 5, and 1. And now we have to find out a Poisson distribution. So for that, first of all, we need mean. For finding the mean, see here, here is the table for finding the mean. First of all, I'm using the formula that F is given as 142, 156, 69, 27, 5 and 1 from this table. And now we have to multiply X into F. That is X into the frequency. 0 into 142 is 0. And 1 into 156 is 156. And next 2 into 69 is 138. And 2 and 3 into 27. 327. So the value here is 81. And 5 4 sir, this is 20. And 5 1 sir, this value is 5. And now we have to sum up or add all these so n will be what is the total value so this value is 400 and next if i add all these that is the sigma xi into fi the value is also if i add all these the value here is 400 now for finding mean the formula is the finding mean mu is equal to this is sigma fi xi by again sigma fi frequency total so which is equal to the total here is 400 by the total fi total the total frequency is 400 so if i cancel then the mu value is equal to 1 so we got the mu mean value that is 1 so here we present with lambda so after getting lambda is equal to 1 next we have to find out the theoretical frequencies so for finding the theoretical frequencies now, the mean of the Poisson distribution is the mean of the Poisson distribution. Lambda is equal to 1. So, according to our uh, Poisson distribution, we have a formula that probability of x is equal to r is equal to e power minus lambda. This is lambda power r by r factorial. So, we have to use this Poisson distribution formula and we have to find out the Theoretical frequencies. For finding the theoretical frequencies as we have the mean value lambda is equal to 1. So for finding the theoretical frequencies the formula here is n into p of x. So where n is the total frequency that is n is equal to 400 here. And lambda is given as 1. And according to the Poisson distribution, we have a formula that e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. See here, n into p of x. See, we have x values as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. For x is equal to 0, if I substitute in this formula, what is p of x? So, p of x is nothing but e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. So, here, what is the lambda value? Lambda is equal to 1. That is e power minus 1. Lambda power here r value is equal to 0. 1 power 0 by 0 factorial. And next for x is equal to 1. 400 into e power minus 1. 1 power 1 by 1 factorial. If I keep r is equal to 1. So if I keep r is equal to 2. So this will be e power minus lambda. Lambda power r by r factorial. Lambda is equal to 1 and r is equal to 2. Here for r is equal to 3. We have for lambda is equal to 3, so lambda is equal to 1 and r is equal to 3, we have that is 400 into e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. Here r is equal to 3 and lambda is equal to 1. Here r is equal to 4 and lambda is equal to 1 and here r is equal to 5 and lambda is equal to 1. So 5 factorial is nothing but 120, 4 factorial is equal to 24, 3 factorial that is 1 into 2 into 3 is 6. 2 factorial is again 2 and 1 factorial is again 1 and 0 factorial is again 0. So, we will be getting all these values if you calculate it. So, here this is 400 into, see I will show you. This is 400 into e power minus 1. The value here is 147.5. 
this is 147.1517 and the next one same this is also 147 point this is 1517 and see here this value is 400 into e power minus 1 this is divided by 2 the value here is 73.57 this is 5758 and the next one this is 400 into e power minus 1 divided by 6. The value here is, this is 24 point, this is 5252. And the next one, this is 400 into, this is e power minus 1 divided by 24. The value here is, this is a 6.13132. And the next one, 400 into this is e power minus 1 divided by 120. The value here is, this value is 1.22626. So, these are the values and these are the theoretical frequencies. And if I write all these values, these values will be approximately equal to, this value is 147 and this is again 147. So, this value is uh, 73.5, so approximately 74. This is uh, 24.5, approximately 25. This is 6.1, the value here is 6 and this is 1.2, the value here is 1. So, here are the theoretical uh, frequencies. So, from the question, the observed frequencies are 142, 156, 69, 27, 5 and 1. Whereas, our expected frequencies are 147. See here, this is 147 this is also 147 and the next one 74 25 6 this is 74 this value is 25 6 and again this value is 1 see here these are all the expected frequencies that is 147 147 74 25 6 1 so these are all the expected frequencies and uh, these are the observed frequencies from the question so see here from the question these are 142 156 69 27 5 1 so these are the observed frequencies and these are the expected frequencies so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and this is also so simple so we have to find out the mean using this formula and after finding the mean lambda is equal to 1 so this is the poisson distribution formula and now Hence, for finding the theoretical frequencies, the formula here is n into p of x. So, p of x is nothing but the Poisson distribution. So, n is nothing but the total frequency that is 400. So, after substituting all the values, r is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, we will be getting the theoretical frequencies and this is the final answer. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.